Hello guys, I am Kanmuri Harshi, uh, pursuing final year data science in NRA Institute of Technology. So today we are going to discuss about uh, Spotify ETL in AWS. So this is a, here we are, we are going to see about the uh, different types of data migrations and the transformation of the data through the uh, uh, through our systems to the cloud and uh, uh, finally going to visualize it. So now uh, let us see about the in detail explanation of this architecture. So here as we can see we, uh, we, are, uh, we are having Spotify where we are taking our data from. So this, this main architecture depending upon the data from the Spotify which is extracted to, uh, through Python and going through a series of databases to the cloud for the data visualization techniques in Power BI. So, first, uh, in the first stage of the architecture, we have Python and Spotify. So, here we are extracting data from Spotify using Spotify API and storing this data in the Microsoft SQL. So, we will see in detail about the uh, Python code which uh, Transforms the, uh, which we are extracting data from. As we can see, here we are using Spot, uh, Spotify library to extract the data from Spotify. So here uh, we, we are reading various uh, client secrets and client IDs, which are a, uh, which are our API uh, API codes, which we can which we can use it to connect to the Spotify and extract the data from the Spotify. So. Next, we are connecting. Uh, we are connecting. We are connecting to the. Uh, uh, we are connecting to Spotify by using the credentials which are seen, uh, which are above. So here we are taking the input of the playlist link. So this means to extract the data. We, here we are giving the playlist link. As we can see, Spotify playlist. Here I am taking this. Uh, here I am taking the playlist of the weekend. So in this weekend we have about 50 songs. So to uh, extract these 50 songs, we are taking the playlist uh, uh, playlist URL which is given here. So uh, we are giving in input of this playlist in the uh, Python to extract the details details of the songs uh, album and the uh, song sang by the artist and the release date of the song. So as we can see our python code python code here we are maintaining uh, here we are taking empty list of uh, uh, different different types here we are first we are storing the album album names and next song names release date and artist names so a song can contain n, n number of uh, artists so as we are taking the weekend along with the weekend uh, there are some uh, other artists who sang that song? So those uh, all, all the uh, singers will be stored in the artist list. Yeah. So here uh, the uh, when, when we extracted the data from the AP, uh, Spotify API, we are getting the raw data. So this raw data is stored in the playlist predictor. Uh, we also uh, this playlist it contains the raw data of the Spotify Spotify data which we gather through API. So from that we only need the track uh, tracks. That means it it contains the uh, song song names artist artist names. So these type of fields that we need. So from that we are taking the items. We are iterating over the each and every item which is a raw data. Each and every item contains uh, more than so we are iterating over each and every item uh, from the tracks, uh, tracks where uh, as we have said earlier the tracks contain the raw, raw data which we gathered from the Spotify API and items are part of these uh, tracks. So in these items, in these items we contain uh, the uh, song name, album name, album name, release name and name of the artist. So here uh, we are iterating, as we said earlier, we are iterating over these songs. We are iterating over these songs and storing storing these uh, extracted and organized uh, organized names and uh, names in each and every uh, list we we have declared above. 
as we declared above, uh, we declared an empty list of album list and the song list and uh, two other lists. So here we are appending each and each and every al album, uh, each and for uh, each and every song, album name, song name, release date, and the artist. So the, uh, at last we are storing this data in this CSV. According to the architecture, we are storing it in the database system. But for uh, for our understanding in this video, we are going to store it in the uh, CSV file. So I am going to show about uh, show the CSV file which contains the uh, which contains all the list from the week from the weekend uh, from the uh, weekend playlist. So we extracted the artist names. As I said earlier, the there there can be more than uh, one artist. So here we have. Here we have only one artist, and here we have more than one artist who signed that song. So this is the album name, uh, album name or song name. So that is the release date, and we have the song name. Here we are storing the uh, different types of fields which we extracted from this Spotify page into the Excel file for our understanding. Uh, generally, we are storing it in, into the database, but for our understanding, here I am going to show about the uh, Excel, uh, detail, details about these fields in the Excel file. So, as we can see, we have extracted different types of fields from the Spotify API, which are song name, art, uh, artist name, album name, and also the release date, which is which is side of the albums, which is side of the albums release date. So this is the basic data that we have, we have uh, extracted from the Spotify API. Now we are going to we are directly storing this data into the database. But uh, for our understanding, I have showed this Excel file uh, Excel, Excel file to make a clear understanding. Coming to, coming to the architecture. Uh, we have uh, extracted the, the uh, data from Spotify using Python into the Microsoft SQL. Microsoft SQL is a database system which is uh, which is powered and maintained by Microsoft. It is one of the lead, uh, leading database systems aside from uh, PostgreSQL and MySQL. So here uh, from uh, from the from this we uh, we consider it as an ETL process. So from uh, uh, we are uh, migrating the data from on-premises database to cloud database. So as we can see here, we are uh, getting a new uh, new uh, new word which is scheduled data migrations. Data migration. Let us understand first about the data migrations, and next we, are, uh, we will discuss about what are my uh, what are scheduled migrations and different types of migrations. So data migrations are. Uh, migrating the data from one database to another database or one file system to another file system as here we are uh, migrating the data from Microsoft SQL to Amazon RDS uh, and also we can extract our uh, I mean uh, my migrate our data from our file system to uh, another file system uh, like uh, blob storage in Azure or S3 bucket in Amazon RDS, uh, AWS so uh, now let us see about the data migrations. Data migrations are mainly three types. One is manual, second one is scheduled, and third one is event. So these data migrations are performed in a pipeline. Pipeline is a uh, uh, pi uh. so these data migrations are performed in pipelines. Pipelines are nothing but a stage, uh, stages of processes in a sequence. So that is called as pipeline. So here, uh, ready. As we talked, uh, as we talked earlier about the different types of uh, uh, data migrations, first we start from the event e, event data migrations. These migrations are based upon the triggers in the pipeline. So we are naming it as an event pipeline. So this event uh, event data migration contains uh, a trigger which is performed on an event. These events are stored in logs of a database systems or file management systems. 
as we can see closely in a, in a, any data in any database we we have the log files this log will consist of all the details on all the operations which we have performed in the data uh, databases like the cred operations cred operations are nothing but create update uh, delete and read read may not come into the uh, log files but the another three create update and delete will be uh, will definitely store in the log files so that when we perform any event triggers or event data migrations we can uh, these uh, migrations will perform on the event based on the logs uh, based on the logs of the database so next uh, we uh, will talk about scheduled data migration scheduled data migrations is not nothing but uh, these pipelines will uh, run uh, in the given time like today is uh, today is tuesday uh, when i am recording this video today is tuesday about uh, 3 it is about uh, 320 uh, time so i want to execute this uh, pipeline uh, only once a day like uh, in the night time so i will schedule it in the time of 9 9 pm so that my pipeline or these data migrations will perform in the in the uh, time which i have given to the pipeline so this way uh, this type of migrations will uh, give me less less cost on cloud so this is also called uh, this uh, schedule migration can uh, be used as the co uh, cost optimization pro uh, cost optimizations so uh, next uh, we, uh, when uh, the third type is manual and uh, in this i will directly go to my cloud pipeline and hit the run button so the pipeline will be uh, started so uh, coming to our architecture uh, we are migrating the data from Microsoft SQL to Amazon RDS by using scheduled microorganisms, scheduled uh, data migrations. Scheduled data migrations. So uh, our data, I mean our Spotify data, uh, which we saw earlier, was in the Microsoft uh, SQL, which is on, which is our uh, on-premises database. And now uh, by using scheduled data migrations, the data, mig uh, the data is. Uh, uh, migrated into Amazon RDS. So the, our data will be residing on the Amazon RDS. So uh, from here we can uh, either uh, make it a visualization or we can perform it according to uh, according to our requirement or according to our client requirement. So this is about uh, this is all performed in a AWS. Performed AWS. So this is this is about the Spotify uh, Spotify ETL. Uh, in uh, AWS. So now uh, we have the clarity about the process that we have done here. So here we have some uh, words which we, we may and uh, which we may not understand. Here ETL means extract, transform, load, which we uh, which we done in these pipelines. So this is a pipeline. This is a in the till here it is a pipeline which is executed in the cloud. So, uh, if there are any queries according to this project or according to the data migrations, I am giving my GitHub link uh, in the description so that uh, you can clarify your doubts accordingly. I am giving both the project project link and also uh, the uh, and also my GitHub link, which consists of different types of uh, uh, data migration repositories, so you can check out. And also my LinkedIn profile for any uh, queries or collaborations. Thank you.